we are at the Salt Springs Marina boat ramp. We're just about to put in our kayaks. And we look up and there's some turkeys. Sorry the video shaky, but I don't want to get too close. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's at least seven of them there. Four, five. There's one more or two over there. Seven. Oh wait, there's more over here. Eight. One behind that, coming out from behind that truck. Wow. There's ten total. Ten total. Right here at the Salt Springs Marina. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> National Forest in Florida. Heading out to do a little bass fishing. Wind is coming out of the east. Right to our faces right now where we're heading. Well, we'll go find a spot where we can kind of get out of the wind and do a little bit of fishing. Nice manatee in the water. the crap out of me. Oh boy, that was cool. Yeah, I felt my boat go up. Go ahead. Whoa. Okay, so I've come to a spot here. I'm gonna stop paddling for a little bit because it's a uh, hard paddling against the wind out here. But uh, I'm gonna try to try uh, catch some bass. I'm gonna try the uh, red bug worm with green metal flake and see what happens. So stay tuned. I hook up with one. I'll come back to you. All right. Too little to keep. <laughs> Let him go. I cast it up in there. Yeah. That little pocket. I was working through there about where that weed is right there. He was sitting there. I wouldn't even inspect him. He come up out of the grass or something. Lucky. 
<clears throat> so there you have it. Fishing is just lucky. Guy, it's a little guy. <clears throat> Awful fun with this uh, micro light rod. <laughs> Look at him go. Man, that is a beautiful fish. Man, look at the color of blue on him. Beautiful. Look at that. Must be because of this clear water or something. It's got a beautiful blue color to him. Man. If I had something to eat back at camp, I'd take him with me and maybe eat him. <laughs> Here we go. So let me tell you a little bit about the Salt Springs Run. I mean, coming here since uh, since I was born off and on you know my grandfather used to have a cabin here uh, on, a, on a local lake Lake Kerr and uh, Salt Springs run is originates from Salt Springs <clears throat> and it's a seven mile run eastward towards Lake George so it's a very popular spot for people to fish and to uh, kayak. Uh, there's a couple camping spots down along the side here on the forest side that I used to camp at. I haven't been here in a, <clears throat> haven't been here in a few years, so I'm not sure what condition the sites are, and I don't have time to paddle all the way over there to the. It's almost to Lake George is where the uh, sites are. So. So far, I've been sitting here a lot of boat traffic going back and forth, but there, you know, there's, there's plenty of room. Nobody's bothered me. If they see me, they usually slow down. So yeah, here comes another boat behind me. See if we can catch another little bluegill here. Caught one. Had a lot of bites. The wind has died down a little bit than what it was earlier. Not quite as bad. Anyways, the Salt Springs has beautiful spring heads. The water boils up out of there. It has a slightly salty taste to it. Um, it the water is 72 degrees year-round. Uh, some of the species in here are uh, in this run. Uh, bass, anything freshwater. Plus uh, there's some mullet that run up in here. They jump from time to time and well as, you, as you'll see in the video later <clears throat> There was a manatee that jumped out of the water almost real close to my friend Sean's boat. Oh, there we got a bite. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, let's turn the other camera on. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. We can fight him over here to the other side where the camera can see him. Oh, he's trying his best to get off. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, there he is. Catching these on live worms. The water depth where I'm sitting is about 11 feet. It's probably about 6 feet up there where I'm casting. 
I've got my cork set about five, but look at that. Oh man, that's nice. It's not the largest fish, but he sure is fun on a micro light reel. You hold it up here for the other camera. Nice bluegill. So if I didn't have uh, food back at camp to eat tonight, I would probably take this guy home and eat him. Or back to camp at, at uh, uh, Hopkins Prairie. That's where we're staying. So I'm going to let him go now. Here you go. See you later, buddy. Now, back to some more fishing. Okay, we got another one. This is a good one. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. We might have to keep this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the look at the beauty of that fish. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> it's awesome. Alright. Take a minute to get all the cameras on. <laughs> oh. He's a fighter. He's a net? <laughs> yeah. This little uh micro light makes it so much fun. Oh, another nice one. Uh, oh, yeah. You keep them, or? Uh, I've got one this, this size already on the stringer. All right. So another red-eared sunfish. You see his red ear there. Nice size. It's got a beautiful blue color to him. Pretty cool. Get it on both cameras. It's my friend Sean over there. And we're gonna put this one on the stringer along with the other one. This one right here. You wanna hold him well? I can get it. I should have brought that fish bag. I left it in the truck. It makes it so much easier than this. We have at least two fish tonight. Salt Springs Marina. <laughs> 